Happy New Year! And you know what today is? The day Louis Vuitton has released their hot new LV Denim Remix collection. We've got bags, we've got SLGs, we've got shoes, and we've got a very high price tag to match. And so many of these pieces are remakes of Marc Jacobs' 2005 LV Denim collection. So I'm gonna show you how you can save money by buying the original pieces, which were the inspirations for this hot, hot, hot new denim collection. And for simplicity's sake, even though the Marc Jacobs collection was from 2005, which is not yet quite 20 years old, it's only one year off, I'm still gonna refer to it as vintage anyway because it's so close to 20 years. So today I'll be showing you the prices of the bag so you can see how much money you can save. We'll compare mod shots side by side, pictures of the bag side by side, and dimensions of the bag. Starting with the LV Sunset bag, this is the remake of Marc Jacobs' Denim Pleaty. Right now, Louis Vuitton is selling this for $2,970 US dollars. And all the prices I'll be saying will be in US dollars today. Now the Denim Pleaty, you can still find for under $1,600 US dollars on the pre-love market. So that's a savings of $1,300 or 45% off. These denim remix prices are very high. So looking for a vintage alternative to save money is a great way to go. Now you can see in these mod shots straight away that the Sunset has a longer strap drop, but otherwise they look very similar and we're getting the same vibe and both ladies look great in these mod shots. Now let's compare them side by side. Now on the front, you can clearly see the Sunset has this much bigger koala class. And you'll see this as a common theme across the whole LV Denim Remix collection, these giant koala class. So you can see on the sunset, we've got a longer strap and a bigger flap. And we can see that on both bags, you can detach the strap on just one side only. But the sunset does have an adjustable strap, whereas the denim pleaty does not. Now on the side, they do have slightly different construction. So you can see how it's sewn differently on the side. And on the back, the sunset has pleats, whereas the pleaty doesn't and no back pockets on both. And in the interior, the Sunset has a denim interior, which is the same fabric as the outside, and it has more compartments. Whereas the denim pleaty, we've got this more Alcantara lining, and then we've got one main compartment with a slip compartment. So here are the dimensions of the bag. So I've got them on the screen for you, but just to summarize, so the Sunset is a bit bigger overall and it does have a longer strap drop. So cast your votes down below. Are you team Sunset? Or are you team denim pleaty? I'm gonna go denim pleaty, but that's because of price. I actually do like the sunset, but the price is just way too high. Now, I just want to remind everyone, with the hype of this LV denim remix collection, the vintage bags have been increasing in pre-love prices quite quickly. So if this is something you wanna get onto, I'd get onto it quickly because some of these vintage prices of the bags I'm about to show you, they've already gone up. So the price is already quite expensive for the pre-loved bags I'm about to show you that's coming up. So next up is the Venice NM backpack. And this is a remake of the vintage Sacco backpack. Now the Sacco backpack came in two sizes, a GM and a PM, but I'll be comparing it to the PM because I think the size of the construction is more comparable to the PM. Now the Venice NM is going for 3,450. That is a lot of money for a backpack. Now the vintage one, that's gone up too in the pre-love market. So you're looking at like $2,600 at the moment, but that's still a saving of $850 or 20%. And if you look hard enough, you could probably find it cheaper, but overall the price of this one has already gone up on the pre-love market. Now, both of these bags look quite cute and very comparable in the mod shots. Like aside from that giant koala clasp, they look very similar. So comparing them side by side on the front, again, we can clearly see the size difference in this koala class. They're much bigger on the Venice new model. Also, on the Venice NM, we have three koala class, one big one at the top and two small ones at the bottom. Whereas on the Sacco, we have a buckles on the top and then we have koala class at the bottom. Now on the back, so from the back, we can see the Venice NM does have a denim hand strap at the top of the backpack, whereas the Sacco doesn't. And the shoulder straps seem thicker on the vintage Sacco and thinner on the Venice NM. Now from the interior, just like all the other denim remix bags, the interior is made from the same denim as the exterior. Whereas the Marc Jacobs one has an Alcantara lining. Now I just want to show you the closure 
both of these bags have these sort of D-rings along the top rim of the bag. Now this is where it differs from the Sakado GM. The Sakado GM has a drawstring, whereas these two don't. So that's what I meant by it's more similar in construction to the PM. And that's because of the lack of drawstring and these two clips you see at the top. Now let's look at the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you. But just to summarize, the Venice is a bit taller in the height, but shorter in the length compared to the Sakado PM. And it also has longer shoulder straps. So cast your votes down below. Are you team Venice NM or team Sakado PM? For the backpack, I'm team vintage. However, if you know me, I don't like buckles. So I actually prefer having Koala class. However, Koala class scratch really easily. The Pochette Fairfax. Now this is a remake of Marc Jacobs' camera bag. This is going for 2,110 US dollars. Whereas you can still find the camera bag on the pre-loved market for under $1,500. So that's a savings of over $600 or 25% off. Now in the mod shots, Hey June, shout out to Hey June. She looks fabulous in the mod shots. If you guys don't know her, she has a whole channel on handbags and I learned so much about how to buy vintage handbags and just about styles of vintage handbags from her. So I'm gonna link her channel down below. She just did her collection so shout out to Hey June. Now I don't have any mod shots of the Fairfax to show you, but you can see they look very similar and have a very similar vibe. Now let's look at pics of the bag side by side. So from the front, again, we've got that big koala clasp. And also you can see the size and the position of the front compartment is slightly different. The Fairfax bag actually has a shape that's really similar to the vintage Louis Vuitton Amazon bag, don't you think? From the back, there's no back pockets. From the interior, again, we've got that same exterior denim which lines the interior of the bag, whereas we have an Alcantara lining in the Marc Jacobs bag. But in the Marc Jacobs bag, if you look at the inside of that small front pocket, that also is lined in denim. So let's look at the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you, but just to summarize, the Fairfax is a smidge smaller overall compared to the Marc Jacobs denim camera bag. And the strap drop range is also a bit shorter, but maybe that's because the bag is overall smaller, so you don't need as long as a strap drop to get that same length. So cast your votes down below. Are you team Fairfax or Marc Jacobs camera bag? Camera bag wise, I'm gonna go for the Marc Jacobs one. However, if the price keeps rising, it'll, it won't be worth it to get the Marc Jacobs one and you might as well go for the new one. Now guys, if you're loving this idea of buying vintage alternatives to Louis Vuitton's hottest bags, I have done a ton of these videos. I've done it for classic bags like the Speedy, the Pochette Matisse, the Neverfull. I've done it for hot, hot, hot new releases like the Salma BB the Speedy B20, the Pochette Matisse East West. So if you're loving this idea, I'm gonna link all those videos in the description box down below for you to carry on with. The Nano Speedy. This is such a cute little stinky bag. Now this one, not a direct alternative or replacement for, but this is similar to Marc Jacobs Neo Speedy. And yes, I know they are very different size bags, but they are in the Speedy family. So let's call this one a reimagination rather than a remake. So the price of this little Speedy is $2,600. Whereas the Neo Speedy can still find for under $1,500 in the pre-love market. So that's a savings of over $1,100 or 40% off. So in the mod shots, yes, we can clearly see the size difference. The Neo Marc Jacobs Speedy is about double the size of the Nano Speedy. They are two different vibe bags, two different look bags. Now we compare pics of the bags side by side. So from the front, so we can see this big koala clasp on an exterior pocket on the Nano Speedy. Whereas the Neo Speedy, you have this one big zippered pocket on the front. So on the side, we've got the D-rings for the Nano Speedy for the strap and there's nothing on the Neo Speedy because that's a handheld bag. On the back, we've got this big Vachena panel on Marc Jacobs Neo Speedy and we've got no back pockets on both. And on the interior, again, for the new LV Denim Remix one, we've got that denim lining and we've got Alcantara for the Marc Jacobs bag. So let's look at the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you. Now the Nano Speedy is a 16 centimeter length whereas the Marc Jacobs Neo Speedy is a 30 centimeter length. So the Marc Jacobs is nearly double the size of the Nano Denim Speedy. 
And you can see they're clearly like in two different ballparks for size range. Okay, now the high rise bum bag. Again, this is not a direct remake of Marc Jacobs, but Marc Jacobs does have his bum bag as well. And the price of the Marc Jacobs bum bag has shot up on the pre-love market. So it's $2,600 for the denim high rise. And on the pre-love market, I'm seeing the Marc Jacobs ones for $2,000. So here the price difference isn't that big. So that's a savings of only $600 or 20% off. So for this one, just go for the one that you like and the one that you want because the price difference isn't too big. And if you want the Marc Jacobs one, go for that. If you want the high rise bum bag one, go for that. Now we can see in the mod shots, it's clearly a quite different vibe between the two bum bags. Here's Hey June again, looking great with hers. Now my body shape is similar to her. So I think that the Marc Jacobs one would look better on me compared to the high rise denim bum bag. And I'm actually not loving the look or the shape or the vibe of the high rise denim one. So I'm definitely gonna go for the Marc Jacobs one if I was to get one. So let's look at pictures of the bag side by side. So from the front, you can see the high rise has a very different shape and you have this luggage tag with this frayed denim edge and we've got studding detail. I'm not a fan of this frayed denim edge luggage tag. That's kind of not doing it for me. Whereas the Marc Jacobs one, we have a more boxy rectangular shape. And I think the Marc Jacobs one, it just looks a little bit more neater or more polished to me? Tell me what you think. Do you agree or disagree? So on the side, the high rise bum bag has both a detachable and adjustable guitar strap, whereas the vintage one is not detachable, but it is still adjustable. And from the back, the high rise bum bag does have a zippered pocket, whereas the Marc Jacobs one does not. And in the interior, and again for the new one, we're lined with that same denim fabric, whereas the Marc Jacobs one is Alcantara. So let's look at the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you. But just to summarize, that high rise denim bum bag is overall bigger and they do have a different shape. So we need to take that into consideration. So cast your votes down below. Are you team denim high rise or Marc Jacobs bum bag? For the bum bag, I'm definitely going for the vintage one. I don't really like the high rise bum bag. Okay, now let's take a break from the bags and let's do an SLG. So the denim clay. Now the clay is a fan favorite, starter piece, small piece of Louis Vuitton all together. And of course they had to remake the denim clay. Now again, the pre-love prices have jumped up on this piece I've noticed. So the new denim clay is 505 US dollars. Whereas on the pre-love market, I'm seeing the vintage ones for $300. So that's not that big of a difference. So again, get the one you actually want when the difference in price is a bit minuscule at the moment. So for a $200 difference, you are still saving 40% off, but again, just go for the one you want in this case. So let's take a look at this clay side by side. So from the front, I mean, they look pretty much the same. It's just a denim remix. You have this, like tag of Vachetta that says Louis Vuitton on the front. The back looks pretty much the same. And for the interior, we've got a denim lining on the new one and we have a leather lining for the Marc Jacobs one. So that's a nice touch. I mean, I would prefer a leather lining to be honest. So here are the dimensions on the screen for you, but just to summarize, the new one is about the same size as the vintage one. The vintage one's a little bit taller and a little bit shorter in the length, like a stubbier version, but you know, pretty much the same size. So cast your votes. Are you team new denim clay or old Marc Jacobs denim clay? For the clay, I'm gonna go vintage because of the leather lining. Now the next two bags I'm going to show you, they're not remakes of Marc Jacobs denim collection, but they are remakes of vintage monogram bags. The Croissant MM. This is a jewel bag. You get the mama bag and the little baby bag. And the cost of both bags is $33.50. Now the vintage one is just one bag and I'll be comparing this to the Croissant PM bag in monogram. And you can still find these for under $1,000 on the pre-love market. So that's a savings of $2,350 or 70% off. Now the vintage croissant came in three sizes, PM, MM, and GM. And I would say the size of this new croissant denim MM is comparable to the old croissant PM. So that's what I'll be showing you today. So if we look at the mod shot, so we can see the new croissant can actually be worn cross body. So it has an adjustable strap, whereas the old one is just a shoulder bag, but they kept that same basic shape and the vibe. And same with under the shoulder, it looks very comparable. But for me, I'm thinking I prefer it in the monogram rather than the denim. But they are releasing this new version in the monogram as well. 
but it does look cute with that little baby bag and you can separate it and wear it as a separate bag. So let's compare pictures of the bag side by side. So from the front, so the new croissant has a Vachetta tab on the front and you can see the difference in the strap as well. The strap on the new one is a three part strap and you can see that hanging down on the sides Whereas the vintage one is just two piece where you just buckle these two pieces together. And also the new one, you get that little baby bag. And from the back, no back pockets for either of them. Now for the interior, again, we're lined with that same denim, whereas we have a red Alcantara lining on the vintage one. So let's compare the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you, but just to summarize, they are very similar in size, but the new croissant MM is a smidge taller and a smidge shorter in the length compared to the vintage PM. And it also has a better strap drop. So you can wear this both as shoulder or crossbody, whereas the vintage one is just a shoulder bag. So cast your votes down below. Are you team new croissant MM or are you team vintage croissant PM? You know me, I'm gonna go with the vintage one. The Papillon bag. This is a remake of the vintage Papillon bag. This one comes as a set with a mama and a baby bag. The vintage one comes as a set with the mama and the baby bag. And the vintage set is a size 30 and a size 19. Now the new one is being sold at 33.50. So the same price as the croissant MM. Now the vintage ones, if you hunt, you can still find them for under a thousand dollars on pre-love websites. So that's a savings of 23.50 or 70% off. So let's take a look at the mod shots. Now, usually people don't wear these papillons as a set. They do separate them, maybe use the small one as SLGs, but just for the purpose of this video, this is what they look like in mod shots as a set side by side. Now, if we take a look at them from the front, we can see that the new denim one, the baby one has a gold chain and the mama one has a studded Vachetta shoulder strap. Whereas the vintage ones, no gold chains available, no studding on the straps. The vintage one looks more plain, more classic. And this is what they look like from the interior. Again, we've got that denim lining on the new one and we've got a leather lining on the vintage one. So let's take a look at the dimensions. I've got them on the screen for you. But just to summarize, the new denim one is a 27 centimeter size whereas the old vintage one is a 30 centimeter size and that's for the bigger mama papillon. So the new one is a little bit smaller overall, but it does have a longer strap drop for the shoulder strap, which for a modern woman would probably be better. So cast your votes down below. Are you team new denim remix papillon? or are you team vintage Papillon? For me, I do like the classicness of the vintage one, even though I prefer the shoulder strap drop of the new one, that one is not doing it for me. So guys, tell me what you think of the pre-loved prices. As I said earlier, they're starting to creep up on the pre-loved market. So for some of these bags, it's not as good of a deal as it was before they released or made the news of this LV denim remix. So for some people, they're gonna go, oh no, the price difference is not big enough I'll just go for the new one but for me I'm also going off the vibe and the shape of the bag that I like and honestly these LV denim remix prices are too high they're just way too high so tell me what were your favorites in the LV denim remix collection and what were your favorites out of my vintage alternatives for me my favorite alternatives will probably be the denim pleaty and the sack dough pm backpack so they're the ones that if I was to add them to my collection they were the ones that I'd add first and of the LV denim remix it would be the counterparts for those so it would be the sunset bag and the venice nm now if you guys haven't already seen i've just done my entire handbag collection video of 50 bags so i'll leave that here for you to carry on with next